be one of the courts at which the United States are represented by consuls. Such jurisdiction shall embrace all controversies between citizens of the United States or others provided for by such treaties, respectively, and then it gives you law case. Therefore, what jurisdiction? Consular courts. What's the role that the grand sheet's supposed to play? Consular courts. You're supposed to get European Bar Association counsel. It's a violation of law. They can't represent you because they're foreigners. You're the national of the land. Now you understand why you must understand divine and national movement. I'm just putting it in context for you. So you can understand it from a law perspective. And so you're required to fess up like any other nation. All the nations are required to this. Why not you? You understand what I'm saying? So we shouldn't be suffering like we're suffering. Because Prophet Noah probably brought the remedy. You know, you're supposed to believe in it, you're supposed to know it. Not something for you to believe in. Or something for you to know. For you to enforce. You understand what I'm saying? And it's required of you as it is required of any other national on the planet. So in order to be recognized by the nation in which you live in the nations of the earth, enforce the Constitution. Because that's the more you I'll be clear. Any other questions? Therefore, comes for court. Now, since Eisenhower suspended consular courts, now they have absolutely none. Under any condition. What year was that? 54, when they suspended consular courts. You see the whole point? So at that point, the Grand Chiefs are supposed to be doing what? Taking their places amongst the affairs of men. You see how far behind we are? Yeah. Do you understand? So I'm only exposing that to you to put it in proper concept to show you, in other words, to give you a point of goal. You understand what I'm saying? Because if you understand what the rest of the nations recognize now, you understand why the United Nations, the nations of Earth, keep on saying in all the laws, declare your nationality. Rights of indigenous people over and over again, redundantly. What's the rights of a child? What? Principle three, in harmony with masonry. Principle three, every child has a right after his birth to a name and nationality. Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Article 1415, A and B. Everyone has a right to nationality. No one can be arbitrarily denied his right to change his nationality. Rights of indigenous people. Obama just signed it. And the Europeans don't know he wants the monkeys to go home because he signed the rights of indigenous people just because Bush and that didn't sign it. Part 1, Article 5, everyone has a right to nationality. So it's the issue of the day. And the rest of the nations is waiting on us. And we still debating with sellouts who won't tell these people what nationality, what the importance of this. So you must do it. Because the world ain't waiting. And all around the world, they're throwing out all the despots that work, that been working for these CIA guys. It is. And we're the heirs of the estate. You understand what I'm saying? This is why, you must understand, this is why Bush and Obama gave the finances to what? To the bench, to the bank, to the Jesuits. Because they're in charge of the estate until you show competence. Because they've got the Sister Q Trust. So if you've got a nationality card, you're a living trust. You are. It ain't some document from 1928. You are. You understand? So if you don't do anything else, what? Declare. Your nationality. Just declaring your nationality makes all the paperwork they have that consists makes it dead. Makes it dead. Absolutely dead. So even while the people are slow, the reality still goes on. The European knows it, that 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 they, they ain't broke. 
They moved this road decades ago. They passed that sign long time ago. That's why it's not this. It's not good. This is the reason why all over Philadelphia, many people don't know these people who think they caught up on their mortgages, they're selling blocks of houses to China. So, they just transfer them. See, because they're all dead anyway. The mortgages are all dead. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So you're going to have to declare your nationality to save yourself. Even people that caught up with their papers, they're going to sell them. They do what they call calling the loan. It's in the contract. This law says. See, the reason why you do that is because, all right, remember, these are issues. Y'all got this? All right, now remember this. We dealt with jurisdiction, right? That's called the Trinity of Jurisdiction. For some, right? What's the first issue at law in sociology, in international intercourse, in government order, in any court case, etc., any estate? That's the All right. And upon that,
No, because any lower established court had no jurisdiction because this was too high. Even though it was dealing with slaves, it's too high the issue of status for a lower court because they must establish or sanction the court. So they dealt with the direction, which means the Congress and the House set up court to deal with this issue. Take this in perspective and think about the withdrawal in 1913, right? So this is 1789, resolved 1790, right? George Washington elected to the palace, assigned to the palace 1789, April the 30th, right? So the government was already in session, wasn't it? Do you understand? All right. The views of slaves and free blacks. So now they're talking about what? Slaves and free blacks, right? Slaves and free blacks are rarely found in the petitions. Blacks were often the subjects of petitions submitted by whites. But in one unusual case, four former slaves petitioned the House, as the House of Representatives, for a clarification of their legal status. Right? This is the issue before the House. Blacks. 
So the law of the land is that we're not subject to those, what? State's law. Now let's go to Article 6. The governors, ministers, right? The representatives and the officers before mentioned, what? Are bound by the law. What is law? Treaty. What's law, baby? That's right, baby. Stand up for it. Say it again, sister. Alright, give that sister a hand. Alright. Got that covered. I'm glad you came. Now, introduction to the case. A petition was presented to the House of Representatives from Sundry Free Four, subjects of the Emperor of Morocco, and residents of this state. So they were what? Residents of South Carolina. So that shows you that foreign doesn't mean distance, does it? Does it? You must understand this jurisdiction. You see? Praying that in case they should commit any fault amenable to be brought to justice, that they as subjects of a prince in alliance with the United States. You see, of America may be tried under the same laws as the citizens of this state would be liable to be tried, which is constitutional principle, due process, you see the point? And not, not under what? The Negro Act. Not under the Negro Act which was received and read. So they read the Negro Act in court and said don't apply to Moors. The laws that govern free blacks don't apply to Moors. The laws that govern slaves don't apply to Moors. What laws apply to Moors? The same laws that apply to all the white people. Get the point, i.e. constitutional law. Find more important props to the nations. Help me in my mission to bring my people back into the constitutional fold of government. What? Enforcing our free national constitution of the United States of America. See, I spot on the prop books. But you got to know history to know the biggest country. You see the point? Stop. This is why Judge Taney declared what? That Dred Scott and Negroes, etc. That's why he said in the law, Negroes are beasts. Is a Negro a beast? Isn't an anthropopithecus a beast? Yeah. Go to the Oxford Dictionary. Negro, you have been unable. Troglodyte nigger is a black chimpanzee monkey or gorilla. Anthropopithecus family. What's that got there with you? And a caveman. Is he European caveman? No, no. Dred Scott was? Is his name Scott? No. And if you read the Dred Scott case, the whole thing was his status. And that just because he crossed state lines, you understand, it wasn't an issue that the state was a free state, it was his status. You're back to the same argument. So now, sis, now you understand why you put papers in? Because you're declaring your status because they're going to assume you're a Negro, and this is what they're going to judge you under. The Christian Black Rose of 1724, unless you declare your nationality for the record. And you already know they ain't going to have them too comfortable. You sit up there and discuss them and talk about you more American and stuff, because they don't want them other slaves straight. That's why they usually shut the courts down. Hold us to labor. Why? Because every time we speak, you're teaching someone. You understand what I'm saying to you? That's why. That's also why they don't want them papers. Because they, when they become the record, that's the record. 
It ain't, but what this shows you is not precedent, is it? It's not precedent. They don't want this information out because it's over for them. Because they what? They're operating on your estate. You see? See, because that's the first issue with law. Then jurisdiction and venue is determined based on the status, which includes your estate and property. It's equal. So if you're talking about property, and this is neutral, don't talk about property. Because it involves your estate also. Then the judge can adjudicate. If affirmatively, he can produce that he has the authority to do so. That's why they always what? Push the bar association on you so they can get jurisdiction, but they need you to agree. Do you understand? But when you're national, you learn the truth about nationality and birthright, you're qualified to do what? To present yourself. You don't need some foreigner to re-present you, which makes you a dummy and an imbecile and can't speak. Do you understand? Do you understand that now, sis? So now, why do you put papers in? To establish your status for the record. And if he proceeds out of order, even if he makes a judgment, it can be overturned like that. And he's Do you understand? It's not. Now, and keep that in mind. So now you know why they don't they don't uh, put, put George Washington's letter to the Sultan in the school books because he lets you know that he's operating on more dominions. Do you understand? So once you understand that it's not complex, is it? So what the problem is saying? Enforce the Constitution. Now you know that we can deal with different aspects of, of law and information, but if nothing else, you must have those basics because everything is built on that. And everything is what? Jurisdiction. Isn't that the same it's with uh, Islam? Isn't that the same with uh, George Washington's first treaty he signed with Morocco? Well, that's the whole point. Yeah, he's in Morocco. Right. So This is the great Masonic secret. That's why you see the pyramids on the back of the note. Yeah. That's why the note, the silver and the gold is on reserve. Because it ain't theirs, it's yours. It's just these people keep trying to be somebody that they're not. You can't tell them nothing else. The world waits on us. Do you, do you, that's where our problem is. Because we've been spooked up for so many generations. You know, we like little Charlie and that Schultz cartoon. Well, you know, that security blanket with, with flies on it, sucking our thumb, looking for a program. Stop, sis. This is what makes it unique. You gotta remember, most of the time, if, if, if someone doesn't know national and international law and don't know history, when we tell them that they're Moors, they think it's some kind of belief system. Yes. They think that that's our opinion that ain't got nothing to do with them. That's their birthright too. And they, they themselves reject it, and they're holding up the nation because they're incompetent. You understand? Because it's a nation, it's not individual. You understand? This information is disseminated, what? For a national and divine movement to make the people competent to receive their inherited estate. So the U.S. corporation is a for, for profit corporation of European guilds. That's why the courts are operated by deputies for the Pope's of Rome, the Barristers Association of England. You understand what I'm saying to you? That's why they run the courts. You understand? So once you understand that, when Obama signed it, what it does, he brought it up to the front. He's backing us up. No, wait a minute, gotta pay attention. Then he went to Egypt, chapter 47, 
chapter 47, Egypt, capital dominion of Africa. And when he went to Egypt, Michelle went to the Alhambra. Why do you think the Europeans are mad at that? That's 360 degree Mason. Do you understand? Signals, signals, what he can't do, you have to do. And then when he signed it, that makes the common people start paying attention to what the United Nations has already stated. I mean, they don't call Jesse Jackson. Start suing these cats.